and welcome back to another trip report. Today I'm going to be flying on Virgin Atlantic's Airbus A350-1000 from here in Atlanta across the pond to London's Heathrow Airport. I just arrived in from Lexington on Delta's Boeing 717-200, which due to an unfortunate window view, I will not be doing a full trip report for. But if you can't already tell, I am super excited about this. This will be my first time going on a wide body since 2013. It has been nine years, so this is a pretty exciting experience for me. But for the time being, I'm here at the world's busiest airport, so let's get in some plane spotting. And after some pay wave for lunch, here's our aircraft. GVLUX was delivered to Virgin Atlantic in 2019 and is one of the newest aircraft in their fleet. It just operated an all cargo flight in from London Heathrow and will be staying here in Atlanta for a few hours until it's time for our flight to depart. And now it's finally time to start boarding. My seat for today features a very large IFE screen, two USB power outlets, a very strangely shaped tray table, although one that would become very useful later on in the flight. A seat back pocket featuring safety card, magazine, and air sickness bag. A pillow and blanket. A very large window. Really good seat recline. And an exceptionally comfortable adjustable headrest. But before long, we began our pushback and taxi out to runway 27 right. Just during takeoff.
Once in flight, I had the chance to check out this aircraft's incredible IFB screen. It has a lot of features, including a ton of movies. TV shows. and even music. But by far one of the most amazing features is this 3D flight map. It took a little while to load, but once it did, it was safe to say it was one of my favorite features during the flight, and I was watching it a lot. It has a lot of settings, including this 3D view of our aircraft. And even statistics from our flight, including how high we were and how fast we were going. Another amazing feature of the A350-1000 is this tail cam. After that, drinks were served, so I sat back, relaxed, and watched Spider-Man No Way Home. And as the sun went down, dinner was served. Today is on the menu was this delicious Mexican rice and chicken. I ate it all, and while I forgot to record my finished plate, it's safe to say it was delicious. And so, as we crossed over Nova Scotia, I settled in and tried to get some rest. four hours of sleep, breakfast was served. It consisted of some kind of pudding and a very delicious muffin. And so, as we had about two hours left in the flight, I decided to check out the bathroom. It features these amazing lights, along with other basic amenities, including the sink, which has a ton of hot and cold settings. A simple toilet. coat hook, and a locking mechanism that turns the lights off if it's unlocked. And so, as the British countryside came into view, we began our initial descent into London Heathrow.
to Terminal 3. The local time here is 7.45 in the morning. While we taxi to the gate, please keep your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fastened signal sign. As we need you to remain seated and keep all the exit signals clear, any items that we have yeah. stowed for you return once the aircraft comes to a complete stop. You can now turn on and utilise your mobile phones. Please refrain from smoking until you reach the This is our Welcome to London Heathrow's Terminal 3. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts. So with that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This is some